I'm double checking here. Now there's somebody who was just a uh, somebody in the San Diego Valley in LA. Um, sir, well, it tells me that they can't do this scenario. Out of the sun, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's cool down in there for now, and feels good. Not wet. <laughs> The Finder is a radar called Finding Individuals for Disaster and Emergency Response. It's a radar that was developed to detect victims that are buried in disaster rubble, like for instance in a collapsed building in an earthquake. It works by using very low power radar signals to detect the heartbeat and the breathing of the victims. So if we can look through the rubble and we can see the heartbeats, then we know that there is somebody there and the rescuers can come in and remove the rubble and rescue the victim. This is an outgrowth of NASA's remote sensing technology. NASA has historically done lots of things where we look at the Earth from orbit or we look from Earth to the outer planets. And we've also developed medical sensors and other sorts of sensors at NASA. This is a, a radar which was started out as something on the laboratory bench and developed interesting results. And what we've done here is we've taken the radar and we've made it into a package that a first responder can use in the field. The radar works by sending a very low power continuous radar signal through the rubble pile and we get the reflections back and it's continuous, kind of like shining a flashlight. And we look for the very small changes in the reflection due to the victim's heart movements and the breathing. As their body moves a little bit, we detect those things because the rubble's not moving, so we don't see any motion from the rubble just from the victim. Uh, the faster you find somebody, that means the faster they can be rescued, brought out, and taken to definitive medical care, and they have a higher chance of survival. It's a big help to them if they can go ahead and know that there is somebody there versus searching through a pile, spending a lot of time and effort, there's nobody there. Meanwhile, somebody in the next pile over or the collapsed building next door has somebody in that they haven't gotten to yet. We're looking to have the uh, unit, the finder unit, uh, commercialized and available in the spring to early summer of 2014. Uh, this would be able to get it into the hands of the first responders and the searchers, uh, hopefully in time for the tornado season next year, uh, out in the Midwest, uh, in the South, and also for hurricane season next year and in the future.